Wake me up tomorrow at 3 p.m. Setting the alarm. Your alarm's set for 3 p.m. Hey guys, it's iApple Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to get Siri on your iPad 2. So first, go ahead and open up Cydia and search for the package Spire. When you try to install it, you'll notice that there is a conflict with, the, with our iPad and you cannot comply. So there's an easy way around this. Just go ahead and click cancel. And then go into iFile. You must have iFile downloaded. Then make sure you under System Library Core Services Springboard.app. While you're in there, you want to look for the K9 3 ap.p list. Go ahead and open that up with the property list viewer. Then under the capabilities, go ahead and scroll down to the iPad. If you have not watched my first tutorial on the Siri proxy, make sure you do watch that first. So go ahead and click the on to the off button. Then go ahead and turn off your iPad and restart it. Once it's turned back on, go ahead and open up Cydia and go back into Spire and when you click the install button you should be able to confirm it and install. Spire is a pretty lengthy download so I'll speed up the process once downloaded, just go ahead and reboot your device. So then go ahead back into iFile. And make sure you're in the same directory as we are just in. And scroll down back to the .plist file that we were just in. Make sure it's not the percent one, but it is the original file, k93ap.plist. Go ahead and click on that and open it back up with the property list viewer. Then under the capability, scroll down to the iPad and make sure you turn that back on. So then go into settings under general and just make sure that we do have Siri on our iPad 2 here. We'll come back to this in a, in a little while. Then scroll over to Dropbox. This is where we just put our certificate in. As you can see, I have my iPad 2 proxy on the side here. We have our .siri proxy from our Ubuntu server. Make sure you set that up and watch the other video. You must have an iPhone 4S for it. There's no way around it yet. So then go ahead and click on the ca.pem. And then in the upper right hand corner, go ahead and click the little icon there and copy that to your clipboard. And then go into Safari and paste the Dropbox link that is just created. It should then install a profile to your iPad 2, the Siri Proxy CA. Go ahead and click Install, and then go ahead and click Install again, and now it is trusted, so that's good. So then go ahead and click Done. Once that is finished, go back into iFile and scroll all the way back until you're at the main directory. Go ahead and click ETC and scroll down to Host and open that up with a text viewer. In the host file, you want to add the, your IP address from your Ubuntu server and then gazoni.apple.com. So I just cut and pasted it, but mine's 1.192.168.1.13. This will more likely be a different IP address then then mine just go ahead and enter yours and then space gazoni.apple.com and then go ahead and save that in the host file then scroll over to your settings general and enable Siri 
Then once Siri has been enabled, you want to go down to the extensions and go ahead and click Spire. So at the top here, it's asking for a proxy host. This is where you want to enter in your own proxy host here. So it's HTTPS semicolon slash slash gazoni.apple.com. Make sure you have the S in HTTP and you have spelled it correctly. Once you have done adding the proxy host, go back into iFile, go back to the root directory and click on var mobile library and then scroll down to preferences and then in preferences look the com.apple.assistant.plist and go and open that up with a property text viewer and you'll have accounts and session language on the left and then dictionary and English US on the right so then go ahead and click on dictionary once make sure it is highlighted and then go ahead and click on dictionary a second time so that when you click it on your second time you'll notice uh, your own personal code on the top of your screen I've blanked that out so you guys cannot see it go ahead and click on the plus button the lower right hand corner of your screen and you're going to be adding three items the first item is ace host with a capital A and a capital H just like that the second one is assistant identifier make sure you have a capital A and a capital I and the last one is speech identifier with a capital S and a capital I if you're familiar with the other process it's exactly the same so once you have added those three items you have a total of five right there on your screen so then go into your settings scroll up to your Wi-Fi and once your Wi-Fi has been recognized go ahead and click the blue button next to it and you want to change the DNS server to the IP address that we've just added so mine's the point thirteen at the end make sure it's the same on your Ubuntu server and you must have the Ubuntu server up and running at this time and then go ahead and click airplane mode on and off so it just resets everything once that's all done, let's have a look. Test Siri Proxy. Siri Proxy is up and running. What time is it? It's 7.17 p.m. So there we go, guys. If you guys do like this video, give it a like up, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date. Thanks, guys.